everybody? Today we're going to look at the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring set of 19 movie toys put out by Burger King in 2001. So let's get these things opened up and take a closer look. First up in this set is Lurch the Urukai Warrior. Look at this guy. Oh man, he looks so awesome. Look at the detail they put in, into this thing. Give you an up close shot of that. So he does have some articulation here in the arm. You can spin his arm all the way around and you can rotate his head all the way around too. Yeah, this is just a great figure. And what's really cool is that each individual figure has their own separate base. You just clip it onto the base just like that. And then you can push your little button in the front here, which looks like the one ring. Push that down and it lights up a little light on a shield there. And another cool thing about it is if you turn the lights off, that actually glows in the dark too. Yeah, this one's definitely cool. Next up we have Legolas. Now I've always liked Legolas through all the Lord of the Rings movies. He was one of my favorite characters. This guy was very awesome. There he is, a shot of the back. You can see his quiver there with some arrows in there. And then right here, it's actually clear plastic through there on his bow. So it's actually not hollow through there. And he does have some articulation. He can spin at the waist. Very nice looking figure. Give you an up close shot there. Yeah, go. And he has a voice chip in there. Listen to this. The must be destroyed. <laughs> must be destroyed. No, that sounds weird, but still a great toy. Next up, we have Saruman. Now, I like this one. Nice long cloak there. No articulation, but it does look nice. And it, of course, he comes with his little base, and he's supposed to have a little electronic feature where you plug him on, you push this button down here in the front, and his little it's all seeing crystal ball there supposed to light up but the batteries died in this one so unfortunately it won't light up but that's okay because it still looks very nice next up we have elrond the elven leader now this one i like this one looks really nice nice gold paint there really excellent detail all the way around and you push the button up in the front here you shall be the fellowship of the ring you shall be the fellowship of the ring now that is awesome. Next up we have Gimli the Dwarf. Now look at the detail they put into this thing. Oh, it's just amazing. Look at the cloaks. Nice shiny black gold paint on there. Silver on the axe. Oh man, just a fascinating looking toy. It's got a little bit of articulation at the waist so you can swivel it back and forth. And unfortunately the batteries died in mine, but if he were to speak he would say, well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Next we have Strider. Now look at this one, huh? Now, who doesn't like Strider in the movie? Guy was so awesome. Boy, he could fight. So you push down on the ring here, and then his little torch lights up. I don't know if you can see that. Check that out. So a little red light in there makes it light up. So that's pretty cool. I do like this one for sure. Next up, we have Arwen, the elven princess. Now, this I like. This is really nice. Nice, beautiful white horse there. Nice gray mane. Oh, I like this one. So she does have a little bit of articulation there, so you can spin her at the top if you would like. And the base is a nice colored blue. I like that. So what you do is you press the ring in the front here, and you can barely see it because of my lighting, but her whole upper torso, torso lights up. There's a little red LED in there that lights up. Yeah, that is nice. Next up, we have the giant cave troll. Look at this guy. Oh, man. Now, this one is awesome looking. So he has rotation in his arms. Both arms can spin all the way around, and his head can spin all the way around, too. Look at that detail they put into this thing. That's just so awesome looking. And if you take him off the base here, on the base there's a little clear uh, piece of plastic through there. And if you were to push the button, if my battery didn't die, that would actually light up with a little red LED in there. Yeah, this one's definitely a winner. I like the way this one looks. Next up, we have Boromir. Now, look at this. Now, this I like. This one's very nice. This is very sharp. So he has a little bit of articulation in his head there. You can spin it all the way around. And his hand here with the horn in it moves up and down. And he has a little voice chip in there. That's so cool. It sounds just like him from the movie. And next up we have Celeborn the Elf. I like the way this shines. Oh man, this is just fantastic looking. What's really cool here is if you look underneath here, it's all clear all through there and it's just painted over. And then there's a little green LED that lights up right there. So you place them back on his little stand here, just like so, get it on there firm. And then his whole body lights up green. I don't know if you're catching that, but that looks fantastic. Next up, we have the Elven Queen Galadriel. Oh, man. So this one is just fascinating. Look at this. All clear plastic through there. Very heavy and solid. No articulation. And unfortunately, again, the batteries are petering out on this one. But if you were, you can kind of see them just kind of coming on. She's got a little pool of magic there. And you put her on the little two LEDs there. Just like so. And she would normally light up. But unfortunately, 
It's just not the case being that the age of these toys are, you know, over 12, 13 years old, but it still looks like a wonderful toy. And next up we have the Orc. Now look at the detail on this one. Now this one I like. I love them all. All these Lord of the Ring toys are just so awesome, well detailed. So you push the little ring down here in the front and it lights up the little LED in his helmet. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks awesome. Awesome. Next up we have Gandalf, one of my all-time favorite movie characters. Now, this one is just awesome looking. Look at the detail they put into this. You can see his gray beard and everything. Clear bit on the end of his staff, and he has a voice chip here. Check this out. Speak, friend, and enter. Speak, friend, and enter. Oh, simply fantastic. And up next we have Bilbo Baggins. Look at this, huh? Nice shiny jacket there holding the one ring in his hand. Now, there is no articulation, but he doesn't need any. He looks fantastic the way he is. And sadly, the battery has died in mine. But if he could speak, he would say, the ring must go to Frodo. Next, we have Sam, Frodo's best friend. This one's so cool. I think he's cooking his third, maybe his fourth breakfast. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it has a light-up feature in there. And unfortunately, the batteries have petered out in this one, too. But it would show the little red LED lighting up there to simulate the fire. Yeah, this one's definitely another cool one. And here is Mary. Very nice looking figure there. I like what they did with this one. And his head does have a little bit of rotation in there, so you can spin that around and give him a different look if you want. And in this lantern here, there's a little clear bit right through there. You push the button and it lights up his lantern. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of fading out because the batteries are so old. But nonetheless, it looks awesome. And next up we have Pippin. Now look at this one, huh? Nice base there made of rock. It looks so cool. And he's holding a torch there on the end of the torch. It's a nice clear bit there. You push the button and it actually lights up. There's a little red LED in there. It makes that glow. Yeah, that is so cool. And next up is Frodo. Look at this, huh? So he's got some nice detail going on there. I like this one. So he's got articulation here at his waist. And you can see right here where he's holding the one ring on his finger. Yeah, that's nice. And down here he's got a little clear bit on his foot and a little LED that would light up if the battery wasn't dead in this. And it would show that he's kind of turning invisible because he's got the ring on. And he also would have a voice chip that would say, Power comes in the smallest of things. And last up is the one ring. Now look at this. Now how impressive is this? And what's even more impressive is that this ring is actually made of metal up here. Now again, sadly, the battery has died due to the age of this toy. And I assume it would make this whole clear yellow bit light up. But that's okay. And what's really cool is that you can take and interlock all the different bases to this. And there's an arrow right here. And if you would take it, and we'll get to that in a minute, you spin this around. What it would do is it activate all the different gimmicks one at a time. Whichever one you clicked on, it would activate the gimmick for each toy. And another cool feature here is if you rub the side right here, it reveals a hidden message. This is the one ring, an object of unspeakable power, which must be destroyed. And if you turn it around on the other side, there's another hidden message. And right here it reads, Legend tells of a ring believed lost for centuries. It has now been found. Yeah, definitely a winner. All right, so now we got them all assembled, attached to the one center ring here. And all you do is you spin this around, and it would activate each one of these individually. But sadly, a lot of the batteries have perished. The ring must be destroyed. But some still work. This is just so awesome. And, and let's have a spin around here just to give you guys a look at this whole thing. What a fascinating toy set. This is just amazing, especially for a kid's meal set. Oh, I can't recommend this enough. Well, there you have it, everybody. The Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, put out in 2001 by Burger King, 19 toys and all. Just a wonderful set. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.